Hi everyone, welcome to the Cup Paper Candle Holder Craft. Um, my name is Christy and I'm the high school librarian at the Indian Trails Public Library. I'm so excited that you guys are here. Um, what we're going to make today um, should look like this right here. So exciting. It might not look that good because this is like professionally done, but we're going to do our best. Um, so let's get started, shall we? So the things that should come in your kit are um, a candle holder, a fake candle, and a piece of paper. Um, you might have a couple. You pick which one ever design you want the best, whichever design you like the best, and glue. Now your glue is going to be in like a little condiment container um, because I can't give everyone a full thing of glue, but I'm just going to be using this. It's pretty simple and easy to understand. Um, and then the things you're going to need that I'm not providing are scissors and a piece of tape. Other than that, that's all the supplies you will need. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to cut our paper to wrap it around this candle holder. Now this candle holder is a little tricky because it's, it gets smaller as it goes down. So it's not a flat surface. I mean, of course, it's round, but it's not consistent. So the way I found what's easiest is if I flip my thing over and just make like a rough estimate of how big I think it's going to be. So I think it needs to be about this wide. So I'm just going to cut right about here. And the good thing is there's plenty of paper. So this is the hardest part if you don't do a great job. And then I just kind of wrap until I think. You know, I go a little generous, and then I cut right here. And then I just connect the two. So this is going to be here. Oh, sorry. So this is going to be here. And this is going to be here. Like get all of it here. Got it. So I have my piece of paper. I wrap it around. It's a little on the big side. That's okay. Not a problem. So then the next thing we do is we want to make the marks that the light is going to shine through. Um, so we have to cut little holes or whatever we really want in here that this candle is then going to shine through. And it can be whatever you want. If you want it to be like a big heart, you can cut a heart here. Um, I'm going to do little tiny, um, kind of like X's. I think that kind of has a cool look because it, so it comes off kind of scaly. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to fold it, kind of fold it, like gently fold it. Like it's not a hard crease, but it's like there's essence of crease in here. And I just... I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a slit and then I'm going to fold it over and so this is what it looks like and when we tape it to this thing the light will shine through here and when I first did this I didn't make big enough slits so like I couldn't really fold it over so I this is probably like half an inch wide and that's my recommendation if you're going to do something like that so that's pretty much what we do on repeat and you can make the slits wherever you want it doesn't matter and i'm going to do all the cutting first and then i'll fold them over
So now I've cut and folded over all my little light holes. I guess that's what it'll be. Um, the next step is to uh, wrap this around and cut off the extras. Um, and the easiest way to start is just taking one piece of tape. Um, because this is glass, uh, glass and glue don't really work together. So you just kind of tape it on. Like so. There you go. And you wrap it around. And if there's extra, that's okay. We made it this way. Um, the tricky thing is the bottom because it's not exactly straight, which is okay. Um, and I'm going to just add a little bit of tape to hold it right now. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like. See, it's a mess here. Shoot, didn't quite take. It, like, doesn't quite look right, which is A-OK. -okay. This is where we can just cut off the extra. So I'm just going to cut around trying to make it easy to see. Boom. And yep, boom. Okay. And then this is where you just take your glue and you're just gonna glue this down to here. I'm gonna cut a little bit of this off just cause it's a little extra and boom. So this is what it's gonna look like, just glued. Then we just hold it for a second. So after we let it dry, this is what it should look like. And then you take your candle. Um, there is this little red thing right here that doesn't let it turn on. So while it's in, so you just pull that out and then it should turn on. You can't really see in the light. And you just put it in and I'm gonna go turn off the light so we can see what it looks like. So this is what the finished product looks like. Pretty easy, pretty fun, pretty cheap to do, and it's a cute little decoration. If you guys have any cool pictures or anything you can think of to make it cooler, please let me know. I'm always at the adult services desk, and I would love to hear from you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Um, and make sure, make sure, make sure you picked up the bag from the library because they won't be able to hold it there much longer. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you had fun. Um, bye.